The Clip Renderer is a powerful new tool added to Resolume in the 7.2 update. This new feature allows for high quality rendering of your clips, making Resolume a production tool as well as a performance tool. Simply create loops in Resolume and render them out. Clips that are rendered with this new tool are not rendered in real time like the record function does. This has a few major advantages like no drops in FPS while recording, no missing frames and butter smooth animations. To demonstrate this, I'll create a clip from scratch and render it out. I'll speed up the video now and narrate a little bit what I'm doing. My first step is to create a shaper. I'll use a simple circle, make the infill, uh, set the alpha to zero. So I have a transparent circle, add a radial cloner to get more screen real estate, get something happening, experimenting with shapes. This is always a very experimental process. Adding a second shape, a triangle, with the shape um, intersection set to morph. So the both shapes morph into a sort of hybrid hybrid shape. Um, next is Bloom, just getting a little bit glowy with it. Uh, here I tried shifting, shifting some, uh, some of the RGB to get some color going, but I didn't like it. Threw some edge detection on it, get a unique look to it, and then colorize it using the palette. Inferno preset, some real scaling and we're done. Before I render this out, I have to adjust the time of the clip. Under transport, we can see that the clip is currently five seconds long. This is the default length of a source. The length of the timelines used in the animation of the radio cloner are 10 seconds. Therefore, I will adjust the duration of the clip to 10. Now I will simply right click the clip and select render to file. The queue pops up next to the files tab and this is where you'll find your clip. The clip will be rendered at the resolution and frame rate of your composition. You can drag the clip back into your composition or view it in the explorer by pressing the folder icon. Under preferences, you will find a new menu called clip rendering. Here you find all the settings like output path, codec and format. Before I round up this tutorial, a quick word about quality. If your content contains a lot of gradients, it's best practice to switch to high quality to preserve these gradients. If your clip doesn't contain an alpha channel, you can select a format without alpha to save on disk space and get faster render times. For all the details about the clip renderer, please refer to the support article on our website. Link is in the description below. I hope this video gave you a basic understanding of the clip renderer in Resolume 7.2 and we hope you'll enjoy this new feature.